Remember what the DNC folks told me two years ago? What I needed to do to take the state house? Build something downtown and stick your name on it. Get the crime to go down and stay away from schools. And keep my boyish good looks. Well, not a fool ain't bad. Jesus. Did we have to schedule this the same day as New Westport? My good news isn't even gonna make the front of the local section. The ribbon cutting was scheduled two weeks ago. This homeless thing no one saw coming. First of all, I'm surprised to see so much media here. A press event held earlier today to announce the revitalization of yet another part of our city was not so well attended. It would appear that media attention is always focusing on the negatives when it comes to Baltimore, but you guys aren't around when we're making real progress. Nevertheless, I'm glad to see so many of you here, some of you representing not just our local media, but national attention to this problem. Thank you for caring enough about our most vulnerable citizens to address yourselves to this tragedy. Our homeless citizens, those who have fallen through the cracks of our society, those who command the least of our attentions and efforts, they seemingly have little to endear themselves to politicians. They don't vote, by and large. They don't contribute to campaigns. They offer little to a city's tax base. And to the extent that our government is made aware of their existence, it responds by trying to mitigate the damage done by their presence. We open a food bank here, a shelter there. We try to move them away from downtown, away from our communal areas, away from our schools, away from our homes. If you were to judge our society by the manner in which we treat those lost on our streets, we would have cause to be shamed. Well, I am, God forgive me, a politician. <laughs> but I am also someone who ran for public office because I believe that there is a different way of governing. And I believe that in the end, we will be judged not by the efforts we make on behalf of those who vote for us or those who contribute to our campaigns or those who provide for our tax base. I believe that we will be judged by what we provide to the weakest and most vulnerable. That is the test. That is my test. Somebody is killing homeless men in this city. They are taking the lives of fellow citizens who do not have the means or the strength to properly protect themselves. They will be stopped. We will do everything in our power to stop them. You have my word on this. Sir, you have your Thank you, Mr. Mayor. What got into you? What? I want to assure the public that we are doing everything possible in our power to apprehend this subject. Homicide detectives are working around the clock. District officers are in contact with the agencies that work with the homeless. I cannot go into specifics of the investigation, but with that caveat, I will take questions. Commissioner, is there any connection between these murders and those in the vacant homes last year? No connection. Mr. Commissioner, Commissioner, are you asking the FBI to join in the investigation? I think Deputy Commissioner Daniels is in a position to elaborate on that. We'll take whatever help is offered. Certainly our detectives will work closely with the behavioral analysis unit at Quantico. Deputy, even with all the resources at your disposal, isn't it extremely difficult to catch a serial killer? Our ability to secure genetic material and the growing DNA data bank our assets unavailable to us even a few years ago, and our ability to effectively use resources has been increased with the aid of sophisticated computer software. And of course, we have some of the best criminal investigators in the nation working 24-7. As the mayor made very clear a moment ago, this is now a priority for the department. Has it not been found at any of the scenes? I'm not at liberty to go into any details of the investigation at this time. Deputy, 